So what is it like to be in band? Band is a way to make friends for life. Just think, if you join band, you can take a class with the same people for seven years in a row. You'll always have class with your best friends. That's not the case for a lot of kids. Band is also a way to learn a skill that you'll use for the rest of your life, no matter what job you choose. People who work in all areas, from lawyers to doctors to writers to YouTubers to gamers to teachers, play instruments because it's fun, it's relaxing, it helps you connect with people. Band makes you a better person. You learn what it means to practice a skill, how to deal with failure and rise to the challenge, how to perform even when you're really nervous. And all of these things will help you and give you an edge when you have to compete against people for jobs or against people who made the huge mistake of never joining band or orchestra. Band can take you places. Not only can you get college scholarships by playing an instrument, but you'll get to go on fun field trips and travel places. And the harder you work, the cooler and more places you get to go. Let me show you a few of my memories from band. Uh, yep, you're gonna get to see little Mrs. Dundor. No laughing. I played flute in elementary school. And yes, that is me in fifth grade playing a duet with my sister. There I am in fifth grade county band. And I thought you might like to see a picture of me with my fifth grade teacher. I switched to oboe when I was in high school. I also joined marching band. There I am in a parade in middle school and high school. We would start practicing in the summer before the football team even started. It was really a true workout. I got to play places with my friends and sometimes I even got paid for it. I got to play with the chorus and I joined youth symphony and district orchestra and band. And these are all places where you got to meet people from other schools. And some of these people are still my friends today. You can go to band camp in the summer. You can take trips while you're at band camp to places like amusement parks and beaches and museums, and you get to give all kinds of concerts. Remember earlier when I said you can go on field trips with band? Well, band took me to Boston and Virginia Beach and even Toronto, Canada, and yes, even Disney World. Apparently I forgot to take pictures there, so here's one I found on Google. And if you think you can't do band because you'll want to do sports, stink again. Just take a look at this gem. Yes, that's me in softball. When I was older, I played basketball, but again, uh, no pictures for some reason. Hashtag winning. Hi guys, my name is Mrs. Matthews and I teach band here at Southwest Middle School and this will be my fourth year here. I'm super excited that you guys want to join band. And so I'm gonna give you a little introduction into what you can play and things of that nature. And if you have more questions at the end, I'll show you how you can ask them. So first, you have five different instruments to choose from, and they come in two different categories. So the first category is the woodwind family, and the first instrument in that family is the flute. The flute is going to be the highest sounding instrument, and this is the flute, of the woodwind family. Okay? Your second option is going to be the clarinet. And the clarinet makes a little bit of a lower sound than the flute, also a little bit bigger. And your last option for the woodwind family is the alto saxophone. And this is the alto saxophone. Still makes a low sound like the clarinet, although it is a little bit bigger. Okay, those are your woodwind options. So you have two brass options. Your brass options are first the trombone, and the trombone has a slide, like you can see. 
and the slide helps you make different sounds. This makes the lowest of the two options the lowest sound. Okay. Your second option for the brass is the trumpet. And this is the trumpet. It makes the higher of the two brass instruments that we're gonna start with, and it is a little bit smaller, okay? So those are your five options. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are gonna ask about percussion. Percussion, we are going to start. It's going to be an auditioned process. So you're gonna start on one of these five instruments. And once we've learned a little bit, we know about some music stuff, note values, how to play, then we will be able to audition for percussion. We can talk about that a little bit later. If you have additional questions or you want to join band or you're just interested, I've created a team for you. So if you use this code in your Teams account, just like you would with your regular Teams like you do at school, and you do W K I G to QD, you can join the band team and you can ask me any questions that you would like and I'm available for you there. Hey, I hope to see you on my roster and have a great rest of your year. Orchestra has ignited a passion that I never knew I had. The love for music. Every day going into that room, it felt like I made a new friend every day. Um, and some of those friendships are still going strong today. I've met at least like four new friends just by joining orchestra. It's taught me how to work with a team, history, dedication, and professionalism. I'm a dancer, so it's helped me like memorize stuff a lot easier, like pick up choreography. You get opportunities like all county your seventh and eighth grade year. All the best players in the entire county get together and they perform a concert. My year we went to New York um, and we got to go to museums, walk around, we watched a symphony, uh, Broadway. It was very nice. Just get that adrenaline rush whenever you're playing and you don't even care if you're making mistakes. Orchestra is just fun in general. Probably the class I look forward to every day other than lunch. It's kind of just been a way for me to express myself. Um, I love when I get the notes right. I just feel I just feel good about everything. It's fun just learning how to play an instrument and all the different strings and notes. During your time in orchestra, whether it's only for middle school or through middle school, high school, and even into college, um, you're gonna have a good time, I promise. You should join orchestra because you get to express yourself in music and it can give you a challenge sometimes, but overall it's fun. Lots of fun, lots of learning, many opportunities. Take the time, think about it, join orchestra. And I hope you join orchestra because it's awesome. Hi, Rising 5th graders. My name is Mr. Bailey. I am the orchestra and guitar teacher at Southwest Middle School. I'm also the orchestra director at Southwest High School. So you will have me your entire orchestra career. Now, you if you like orchestra music and if you like guitar, I am the teacher for you. Um, I am a cellist and my wife is a violinist, so we're a very strings-oriented family. If you choose to do orchestra, you will be choosing a year-long class, whereas the guitar class is by semester. So um, if you want to do a year-round course, which you're going to build upon skills and um, perform and get better at an instrument, you can do orchestra. Guitar is by semester. So we're going to be doing a little bit more of a crunch into a semester, and it's a little bit more informal, and we're not going to do as much, like no concerts and, and field trips and et cetera, um, as much as the orchestra does. Hello, it's me. I was wondering if you have time to learn about chorus, to go over everything. They say it's like karaoke, 
That's just still a So guys, my name is Mr. Connor. I teach chorus and general music. For chorus, make sure concerts are mandatory, two of them after school. Make sure you know that $5 chorus fee. And we learn signs and symbols to be able to read the music to then be able to sing it. It ain't just singing. You got to do all the work behind it. I also teach general music. And in general music, there's a section where you get to learn how to play the piano. So if you would love to be in my class, I would love to have you. And next year, I look forward to seeing your name on my roster. Have a great day, guys.